What's wrong with white people? Hi, this is Colin Flaherty. I'm the author of Don't Make the Black Kids Angry and the proprietor of this channel. Here we document black on white violence, black mob violence, black on white crime, black on young, black on old, black on Asian, black on gay, black on straight, black on everything. You get the picture. All without racism, without rancor, without apology. So a few times a month, some of the braver trolls on our channel, they send me a clip going, hey, Colin, what about this? Guess you didn't see that, did you? White people do it too. So I looked at the video and I was just so disappointed in the quality of this riot. And everybody was calling it a riot and uh, 300 white kids were fighting on the beach. They were fighting on the boardwalk in the daytime and the nighttime. But all, all the video we get is a couple of white kids wrestling with a couple of cops. I think somebody threw an empty plastic bottle at one of the cops and I saw some sand being kicked up too. I mean, really, I mean, when you think about the riots, we think about the large scale black mob violence we see on this channel. I mean, I mean, I want, I mean, I want to see broken windows. I want to see knifings. I want to see threats to the cops. I want to see people getting shot. I want to see people getting killed. I want to see stuff on fire. But all we get, a, but instead, people are sending me these video, this video and these articles about the white riot at the shore in New Jersey. And that's all we get. A couple of white kids wrestling with a cop. How disappointing. <laughs> People act like they're on like PCB spring break here. It's really sad. I know. I love Maureen. It's just it's like a family beach town, but yet there's <laughs> that like so two thousand. That was a complete failure as a riot. Why don't we try this riot on for size? This is a letter I recently received about something that happened in a Florida beach town. The the uh, the parents are afraid that uh, well they'll. You know, the people who did this will um, will find them. So they asked me just to excerpt a small portion of this letter. Here it goes. My daughter and her five friends, every single one of them, student athletes from good families, went out to get something to eat at 10.30 p.m. They were maliciously and brutally attacked by a pack of inner city, vicious, aggressive animals. My daughter was dragged by her head by at least three to four of them while they continued to punch and kick her, leaving her almost defenseless because they had her by the back of her head. Her friends were also being attacked and were trying to help her doing everything they could, but they were outnumbered and outstreeted. These are nice kids from the suburbs who, while certainly aware of what goes on in the world, are very ignorant of thug behavior naive in terms of street defenses and sheltered in what they and sheltered in what they are sweet polite and respectful kids my daughter and her friends phones were stolen because i am one of those stalker parents who tracks her kids via find my friend app the undercover detectives were able to find the phones and arrest and process these animals with criminal pests and prior records now that's a riot. A dozen black people attack a couple of suburban kids on the beach. That is a riot, okay? That is a legitimate, authentic, life-threatening, nasty, scary riot. Not that little wrestling match we just saw uh, a few seconds ago. 
If you want some video of a, of a decent a decent riot, I mean, let's look at this from the University of Delaware. This, this riot, even though they don't tell us this in the uh, video, they kind of leave out the big picture. They don't connect any dots. Uh, the, I've done documented dozens of these and white girl bleed a lot and don't make the black kids angry. Uh, the way these things normally start is a black kid or a, two, or a couple black people go into a knock on the door to a party. They go, hey, man, here, there's a party here. And they go, yeah, this is a party. But, you know, this is a private party. You're not invited. They leave, go get the fellas. They tell the fellas that they're not letting black people into this white party. The fellas come back and beat the hell out of everybody in the party. First time I heard about something like this was Illinois when I got a phone call from the campus chief of police saying he couldn't believe what the newspapers and the school officials were doing to cover up this exact scenario which I document. I think that one's from White Girl Bleed a lot. So this goes on a lot. And this, you know, this is a legitimate, valid act of large-scale black violence. Let's get to it. Investigators are looking for dozens of people involved in a violent fight near the University of Delaware campus. A victim in the brawl found video of the incident posted on social media and then alerted Newark police. Well, police believe the fight broke out May 21st after one group was denied entry to a house party on North Chapel Street. They began assaulting subjects that were in the area um, at random, um, not necessarily affiliated with the, the party, and then fled. Well, four people were injured, including a 21-year-old woman who suffered a concussion. Newark police say they're hoping to identify approximately 30 people involved in that fight. I had a chance to talk to a former member of the Faculty Senate at the University of Delaware. That's the school where, of course, Chris Christie graduated from. Anyway, now let me rephrase. Okay, let me do the proper English thing. That's the school where Chris Christie was graduated from. Anyway, this former member of the faculty senate tells me he is outraged. He'd never seen or heard of anything like this before in his life anywhere on the entire planet. They're going to get to the bottom of it. And, uh, well, actually, this kind of thing happens at the University of Delaware frequently. Oh, yeah, by the way, that, that member of the faculty senate I was talking to, oh, yeah, that was me. I was actually just talking to myself. So anyway, different story for different day. Anyway, uh, had I still been on that faculty senate, I would have made a motion strongly expressing my disapproval of this entire scenario. And the motion would have read something to the effect of, Senators, I rise today in opposition to this video we just saw on that big bad YouTube channel run by a former member of this august body. I hereby move that we at the University of Delaware and the Newark Police Department never do anything to make the black kids angry. <laughs> 